All right, welcome everybody to some SBF basketball. We have an absolute thriller tonight for you as we are going to see the River City Stallions take on the Classic City Bobcats. This should be a fun one like always. And I am absolutely excited to call it. I am excited to see Ed Payne, Kyrie Allen, Juwan Quinn, Khalil Fox, Byron Rockwell. This is an absolute star-studded matchup that I honestly cannot predict the winner of. The Stallions have been so hot lately, and the Bobcats have been kind of cooling down. So expect the unexpected. That's my advice for you here tonight. The opening tip goes the way of the Stallions. Jawan Quinn's gonna bring the ball up for their first possession. Let's see how they play this. Backdoor cut, Jawan Quinn with the easy lay -in. Great pass by Cam Miles there. Here comes Ben Henry of the Bobcats, gets it over to Ed Payne. Ed over to Kyrie. This offense runs better through Kyrie, as you see there, as Ed gets the easy layup to go. Byron Rockwell bringing the ball up to right now. This is absolutely unorthodox offense by the Stallions. Let's see what their plan is. Rockwell trying to set an off-ball screen for Quinn. Doesn't work. Quinn has it in the paint. He's got to watch those three seconds. Puts it up, and that's no good. Kyrie Allen is too big. Kyrie pushing tempo. He's got numbers. Couldn't utilize it. He's going to try to get past. He's going to pull up for a mid-range J. That's no good. Here comes Byron Rockwell again. Gets it up to Vince Hart. Vince Hart with the layup. That's no good. Both teams missing a lot of shots right now. Three on three. Kyrie Allen does not do anything with it. It's Derek Simon. Ed Payne off ball screen to Kyrie Allen. Kyrie takes the Derek Simon screen. Drives to the rim. Kicks it out. Derek Simon wide open mid-range. That's good. What a good kick out there by Kyrie Allen. Everybody bit on the layup. Nobody was there to stop Derek Simon. Here comes Khalil Fox. Gets it over Quinn. Quinn wide open three. That's good. A Jawan Quinn that's trying to score the basketball is dangerous. His biggest problem since coming into the league has been he plays way too passive. They want him to take more shots, and we're seeing that here tonight. As Murray pulls off a good pump fake and then gets the mid-range J to go. Good backdoor cut again by Jawan Quinn for the easy layup. Here come the Bobcats now. Derek Simon back to Allen. Allen setting it up a lot of off-ball movement here. Simon sets the screen. Kyrie Allen pick and roll. Derek Simon at the rim. He's able to finish. Here come Vince Hart. Vince Hart, mid-range J. That's no good. Murray Williamson with the rebound. Pushing tempo. Here comes Kyrie. Mid-range. No good. Ed Payne with the putback. That's no good. Gets his own rebound. The third try is good for Ed Payne. Here comes Vince Hart. River City Stallions sets a screen up top. Byron Rockwell. Vince Hart's going to jump her. No good. Rockwell with the rebound. Puts it back up. Gets it to go. Both centers attacking the glass hard right now. Here comes Murray Williamson. Hands it back to Ben Henry. Over to Ed Payne. Ed Payne up top. Interesting to see both teams utilizing their centers in a ball handling situation. Kyrie Allen. Great Euro step to the basket. Gets it to go. What a great move there by Kyrie Allen. One of the best point guards in the league. And Miles backdoor cut to Rockwell. That's good. Here come the Bobcats trying to answer back. 
They have a one-point lead right now. Murray for three. No good. Derek Simon fighting for the board. Can't get it. Vince Hart has it. Jawan Quinn with the ball again. He's attacking. Goes right down the middle. Tries to put it up over Ed Payne and gets it to go. What a good layup by Jawan Quinn. Here comes Kyrie Allen and the Bobcats again. Kyrie, mid-range jumper. That's no good. Rockwell with the board. Stallions have a one-point lead. Khalil Fox drives, attacks the rim, gets it to go, and one. What a strong, beautiful finish there by Khalil Fox. Remember, Khalil Fox, a few seasons ago, emerged as the Stallions' top-scoring option. It came out of nowhere. Khalil Fox, I believe, was a second-round pick in the SBF draft. Nobody saw him being a superstar, but here he is. The number one scoring option for the River City Stallions, leading the comeback team so far in the season. Here comes Josh Waters. He's a scoring monster. Drops it to Ed Payne. Stallions able to get the block. Good defense by Kelvin Day. He's able to pull down the board. Kelvin Day driving, puts it up. That's no good. Ed Payne with the board. Kicks it up to Yuri Kasparov. Yuri finds Waters, who wants to shoot the three. Can't get that to go. Yuri with the board. Hands it right back off to Waters. Driving, pick and roll. Can't finish it. Should have been able to finish the play and get the three-point opportunity. But he will go to the line and shoot two. Kasparov shoots the first. That's good. Like I said at the beginning of the broadcast, these Bobcats are absolutely fizzing out. That's the best way to word it. Their team was the hottest team in the league, and they're slowly cooling down and losing more and more games. It all started with a loss against the Stingrays. That loss seems to have shifted their confidence level, and they haven't been able to right the ship since. Yuri able to sink both of them. Cuts the lead down to two for River City. And here comes Jawan Quinn. Jawan Quinn, the first overall pick by the Ballers a couple seasons ago. Absolute superstar. Biggest knock on him is he does not play aggressive enough on offense. Here comes Yuri again. Yuri, a good ball handling big man. Gets it over to Josh Waters. Waters for three. That's good. That's why you go out and trade for a guy like Josh Waters. Your team, you have the best defensive team in the league. You're struggling on offense. Josh Waters by himself fixes that. Doesn't, doesn't completely correct it, but it does help fix it a little bit. Good rebound by Cam Miles. Puts it back up. That's no good. Ed Payne with the board. Here comes Yuri. Yuri with a lot of ball handling in the last couple possessions. Remember, he is a big man. Almost gets picked by Kelvin Day. Yuri finds Waters. They're going to let Waters go to work on Quinn. Bryce Lane has it. Not a good shooter, otherwise he was open for three. Waters has to shoot the deep three. That's no good. Bryce Lane with the board. I felt Bryce Lane had the inside position for the putback there, but he didn't take it. Kyrie Allen uses his speed, gets around the defender. Shoots the mid-range J. That's good. Three-point lead now for the Bobcats. Here come Jawan Quinn and the Stallions. Cam Miles wants to do something against Ed Payne. He tries, but that's no good. Ed Payne's able to get the block. Here comes Josh Waters. Ed Payne pump faked at the three-point line. I don't think anybody bought that. There's Kyrie's three. That's no good. Luther Knox with the ball. Here comes Dwayne Mullins. He's going to attack the rim. Shoots the mid-range J. That's an air ball. About a four-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock here. Yuri Kasparov tried to alley-oop with Bryce Lane, but he's not a good enough passer. Couldn't get it to go. 
comes to Luther Knox, setting up for the last shot. They get it up to Jawan Quinn. Jawan running, fading three, no good. Kyrie Allen has a chance, pushes it up. Logo shot, no good. We go into the first, the end of the first quarter with a three-point lead for the Bobcats. The score is 19 to 16. This has been a thriller. Both teams shooting fast and furious here tonight. If these shots start to sink, we could be looking at a very high scoring game. And here we go. Kyrie Allen. It's it over to Yuri. On the floor for the Bobcats, we got Waters, Yuri, Kasparov, Ed Payne, Bryce Lane, and Kyrie Allen. Kyrie, mid range jumper, that's good. On the floor for the Stallions, we got Dwayne Mullins, Jawan Quinn, Cam Miles, Luther Knox, and Kelvin Day. Cam Miles gets a download of Jawan Quinn, but Waters is there to pick it off. Kyrie Allen, mid range jumper, that's good. What a tough shot for Kyrie Allen, but he gets it to go. Stallions have got to stop the bleeding. They need to get the lid off the basket and score here. Looking for another cut. Juwan Quinn's at the rim. They get it to him and he gets it to go. They've been looking for that backdoor cut with Juwan Quinn all night and it continues to work. Josh Waters looked like he wanted to follow Quinn out to the three point line. I don't know. That seems like a lack of coaching there. The same plays being used time and time again. The coach should be letting his team know to look out for that. Murray back into the game for the, uh, the Bobcats. As well as Derek Simon. Bryce Lane gets it to Waters. Waters back out to Allen. I love this lineup of Kyrie and Josh Waters on the floor at the same time. Jawan Quinn alley -oop pass to Rockwell for the slam. Three point lead now for the Bobcats. Interesting to see how the Bobcats handle having Rockwell on the floor without having that pain out there. Right now the Bobcats are going to be playing small ball. Rockwell should be able to have his way in the paint. Mullins. Gets it back to Luther Knox. Luther over to Vince Hart. Juwan Quinn has it up top now. Trying to put on a move on Josh Waters. Drives past him. Floater, no good. Rockwell with the board and slams it home. That's what I'm talking about. Dominance in the paint by Byron Rockwell. Slammed that home and put some emphasis on it. Simon gets it down low to Kyrie Allen. Kyrie with the pump fake. Puts it up. That's good. Kyrie Allen using his height on that play. He's a lot taller than most other point guards in this league. He's six foot seven. A lot of screens being set. Rockwell has the ball up top. They're trying to utilize the good matchup he has against Bryce Lane. That's not the best way to do it. They need to get Rockwell down into the paint rather than letting him set up from up top. Good pass from Waters to Simon. That's a good layup. Here comes Juwan Quinn and the Stallions again. Good time out there by the coach. Their offensive strategy was not working. He didn't like the way it looked. He's going to go ahead and he's going to change it up. All-Star Weekend is almost here. Hopefully you guys are as excited for it as I am. We should be able to draft the All-Star teams this weekend. And I know I'm excited to see where some of these best players in the league are going to play. I want to see the potential of a Levi McNeil, Jerry Johnson reunion. Those guys, big teammates uh, for A-Town a couple years ago. Jerry got traded. I'd love to see him back together. Some other matchups, I'd love to see Rockwell get paired with Jamarius Randall. I've always loved that. 
honestly, to see Jamarius Randall with anybody other than Bryce Dyson just excites me. As Josh Waters hits the deep three. That's just a beautiful stroke he's got there. Here come the Stallions. They've got to answer back. Backdoor cut. Derek Simon plucks it at its high point. Good block there by Derek. They get it to Murray. Murray looking to score. You can see it in his eyes. Gets it back to Simon for three. That's no good. Simon can shoot those. He is a stretch big. He just chooses not to shoot them very often. Here comes Khalil Fox trying to get by Murray. Murray doing a good job of keeping his man in front of him. Pick comes. Fox gets Waters in the air but doesn't take advantage of it. Vince Hart has to drive. Puts it up, but Simon gets the block. Good defensive possession there by the Bobcats, keeping their man in front of them, not letting anybody get an easy bucket at the rim. Derek Simon leading the way on that possession. Even some of the weaker defenders on the team, like Murray Williamson, played really well in that possession, keeping his man in front of him. Here comes Josh Waters. Puts it up. That's no good. Rockwell pushes it forward to Mullins. Mullins is going to drive. Mullins tries to get it to go but couldn't find the basket. Here comes Murray. Murray with a bad shot. Bryce Lane, though, there for the putback. Both these teams have a quick trigger finger tonight. They seem to be putting it up at will. If the shots start to fall, like I said earlier, this could be a very high-scoring game. Leo Fox to Mullins for three. That's no good. Ben Henry gets the rebound. Drops it down to Waters who puts it up, but Rockwell gets the block from behind. Waters didn't even know where he was on that play. Didn't know that Rockwell was behind him. Here comes Vince Hart matched up against Derek Simon. Mullins is going to drive. Kicks it back to Khalil. Khalil are going to attack Murray, puts it up, and with a strong finish, gets it to go. Khalil Fox, one of the best players at finishing around the rim, second only to Levi McNeil. Screen set, Simon gets Waters open. Waters shoots, no good. Here come the Stallions. Vince Hart, he's fast. Finishes the play. He's going to get the three-point opportunity. Five-point lead for the Bobcats with the chance to cut it down to four. And he does it. Four-point lead now for the Bobcats. Anytime the Bobcats start to extend the lead, the Stallions come right back. Waters uses his speed to get around everybody. Gets to the rim for the easy layup. Josh Waters, such a good trade by the general manager of the Bobcats to bring him in. He's been such a crucial part of this offense as of late. It's Ben Henry. Ben, great move to get open. Shoots an off-balance shot and can't get it to go. Again with the quick shots. Both these teams are just heaving things up at this point. Fox can't get it to go. There's Derek Simon with the board. Rockwell with the steal from behind. Here come the Stallions. They need to make this possession count. Cam Miles trying to take the screen, but the defenders are just staying right on him. Shot up by Khalil Fox. That's no good. Rockwell gets his own board, puts it up again. That's no good. Ed Payne with the good defense and the rebound. Simon gets stopped, has to uh, pick up his dribble. Gets it back to Yuri, who gets it to Waters. Here comes Josh Waters attacking the rim, puts it up. That's good. Eight-point lead now for the Bobcats. Here comes Vince Hart. Gets it over to Cam Miles. 
Vince takes the Rockwell screen. What a good move at the rim by Vince Hart. Gives a little spinner Rooney, and then finishes with the left hand. Josh Waters now setting up for that last shot. Takes the Yuri Kasparov screen. Puts it up. Fox is able to block it. We are going to go into halftime with a six-point lead for the Bobcats. All offensive scoring seemed to stop in the second quarter. I'm going to go ahead and use this opportunity to talk about the All-Star Game coming up to those of you listening and watching this broadcast. The All-Star Game is around the corner, and like I said before, we have the opportunity to start drafting teams this weekend. Right now, the front runners are Jerry Johnson of the Talons, Jamarius Randall of the Stingrays. Those two players will be drafting their superstar teams to compete come All-Star Weekend. I know I'm extremely excited, especially for the NCAA All-Star Game. I am absolutely excited to see some of the best NCAA players battle it out. This is going to be a great scouting opportunity for all you GMs in the league. And to all you players in the league, this is a great opportunity to make a name for yourself. Here comes Kyrie and the Bobcats trying to have a better quarter. Kyrie's attacking the rim, puts it up, gets blocked by Rockwell. That's not a good way to start. Here comes Vince Hart. Pulls up for three. That's no good. Quick shots. Still the answer for both teams. Kyrie with another quick shot. I don't understand the offensive decisions for both these teams, but they seem to be sticking to it. Rockwell now matched up on Kyrie. Good double team. Miles left wide open for the easy lane. Not a lot of passes for both these teams. When they do decide to pass, it seems like they get a good score. Derek Simon finds Kyrie, open mid-range, that's good. Great passing leads to the easy bucket there as Kyrie is up to 14 points tonight. Juan Quinn, reverse up and under, and draws the foul. He's going to get the three-point opportunity. Great, strong finish by Juwan Quinn. And a season ago, you never saw Juwan Quinn take that type of shot. I am excited that the aggressive Juwan Quinn seems to finally be here. Here comes Kyrie Allen. Bobcats need to get a score here. Murray finds Kyrie at the rim, gets it to go, and one. Both teams exchanging and ones as you see. Kyrie Allen hits his opponent with the snarl. Signature move by Kyrie Allen. You know Juwan Quinn cannot be happy with himself after that foul. They gave you a th free and one opportunity that you go ahead and give them the same thing. That's not a good way to come back. Quinn. Gets it to the wide open. Fox, open for three. No good. That was a good look, good pass. Just couldn't get it to fall. Ben Henry, open jumper. That's good. The lead is back up to eight for Classic City. Both these teams in similar spots in the standings. Both these teams fighting to maintain as you see the Bobcats right now the the way the SBF does playoff standings the playoff uh, the way the SBF runs the playoffs are a little bit different we do the top 16 teams irregardless of conference so as you see the Bobcats there sitting at about number five they're in a pretty safe spot to make the playoffs Stallions on the other side, they're in the Western Conference. Right now, they're struggling. They need to get a lot of wins here to boost themselves back up into a playoff team. Right now, I believe they're a couple games out of it. 
as you see Khalil Fox and Jawan Quinn connect on the alley -oop. Here comes Murray. Stallions have three players on fire right now. Murray slowing the tempo. That's smart, especially with how hot the Stallions are. Murray finds Henry. He's going to shoot it. No good. Rock going with the board. Here comes Juwan Quinn. Rockwell finds Vince Hart. Vince Hart with a step back. Almost gets Murray to fall. Hart with a pull from mid-range. No good. There's Rockwell with the board. Puts it back, and that's good by Byron Rockwell. Lead is back down to six for the Bobcats. Here comes Murray again. Gets it to Ben. Ben for three. No good. Another good look, another miss. Here comes Vince Hart. Trying to make something out of nothing. That's what he seems to be good at. He drives, attacks the rim. That's good. What a good, strong move. Able to finish over Kyrie L. Derek Simon now. Bobcats have got to get a score here. No, they've got to stop the stallion momentum. Simon for three. No good again. Another open three miss by Derek Simon. Here comes Juwan Quinn. The stallions are rolling right now. Gets it over to Cam Miles to Vince Hart for three. That's good. It is a one-point ball game now. 47 to 46. The stallions are storming back as the Bobcats call a timeout. Trying to collect themselves, regroup, figure this out. Why can't they score? Why can't they stop the Stallions? This has been an absolutely thrilling game. Both teams in it the entire time so far. No team has pulled away. The largest lead, I believe, has been eight. Brought to Murray. Murray almost turns it over. There's Kyrie Allen, though, finds himself in a beautiful position to get an easy layup. Gets his point total up to 21 tonight. Jawan Quinn still in the game for the Stallions. They're going to need their superstar if they want to win this game. Kelvin Day puts it up. No good. Yuri Kasparov with the board. Josh Waters takes the Yuri screen, goes to the rim, gets blocked by Cam Miles. Here comes Dwayne Mullins. Mullins, good pass to Quinn, who's cutting in the back door, and gets the layup to go. Here come the Bobcats, here comes Josh Waters. Here he takes the Murray screen, drops it to Bryce Lane. Bryce Lane been quiet tonight. Waters gonna have to make something happen. He's got two seconds, puts it up. That's no good. Here come the Stallions with an opportunity here to take the lead. Gets it to Kelvin Day. Back with Dwayne Mullins. Takes it to Juwan Quinn screen. Quinn, another cut! Alley-oop is good. Stallions take the lead there after the Jawan Quinn slam. One point ball game. Al over Williams. Back to Kyrie L. Kyrie's going to drive. Puts it up over Cam Miles. Gets it to go. Good finish. Good defensive play there by Cam Miles. Just better offense. Here comes Luther Knox. Open mid-range. No good. Here come the Bobcats. Murray Williamson trying to lay it in. That's no good. Those are the type of possessions that just become wasted 
you've got to take your time and get a good, smart shot. Just like this one, there's Telvin Day with a wasted possession. Both of these teams have wasted a lot of possessions here tonight. Kyrie Allen open three, that's good. Leads back up to four. Kelvin Day has really struggled for the Stallions coming off the bench his entire season so far. <clears throat> he takes way too many bad shots. There's Dwayne Mullins. Gets the free go. Right now, the Bobcats have all their offense on the floor. Kyrie, Waters, Murray Williamson, Bryce Lane. There's Williamson with the three. That's no good. When these guys inevitably come out for a break, I'm curious to see if the offense is able to continue. As Mullins picks up the foul over Yuri Kasparov, able to finish the layup, and now he gets the end one opportunity. And Payne's going to check back in for the Bobcats as Mullins gets it to go. Two-point lead now for the Stallions. Here comes Waters. Blows by everybody. Puts it up. Can't finish the play, but Cam Miles fouls it. Josh Waters will shoot two. Gets the first to go. Looking to tie it up with the second, and it's good. Juwan Quinn and the Stallions will have the last play of the quarter. Let's see if they can go into the fourth with a lead. Juwan trying to find one of his guys open. Drives past the defender. Floater. That's good. Leaned away from the defender there. Kyrie further than the logo. No good. Stallions go into the fourth quarter with a two-point lead over the Bobcats. This has been an absolutely back and forth game. Both teams putting up a lot of shots. If they start to fall, this could be a scoring frenzy here in the fourth. The score is 58 to 56 with the Stallions leading it and the Stallions will get the first possession. No sub changes coming out of the quarter. Rockwell has it up top. Luther Knox for three. That's no good. Rockwell with the board. Gets it back. Day for three. That's no good. Knox with the board. Puts it up. Ed Payne with the block. Here comes Kyrie Allen. Finds Waters. Good shot. Can't go. Jawan Quinn is in front of the defenders. Layup is good. Uses his off arm there to kind of create some separation from the defender. Probably could have been called for an offensive foul there. I think it was a good no call though by the refs. Bryce Lane has it up top. Defender switch. He tries to take the opportunity to attack, but Rockwell's able to recover and block the shot. Four point lead for the Stallions. This is a bad time of the game for the Bobcats to hit their cold streak. They are cold offensively. Ed Payne finds Waters. Waters back to Simon. His third three of the night. That one goes. Bryce Lane picks up the offensive foul, but it'll happen after the bucket. Like they always say, just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Derek Simon finally gets one to go on his third try as you see Vince Hart on that last play. Gets the three to go. That lead is back up to four for the Stallions. Josh Waters over to Ben Henry. Going to take the Simon screen. Off balance three, that's no good. Simon with the board and the putback. He'll get to go to the line and shoot two. Simon gets the first. And he sinks them both. The lead is cut back down to just two points for the Stallions. 6.25 to go in the game. 
takes it down to Vince Hart, who lays it up. That's no good. Here comes Ben Henry. Gets it over to Simon. Simon's able to finish under the rim. Derek Simon scoring the last seven points for the Bobcats. Kelvin Day has it up top. Trying to make something happen here. Kelvin Day, though, can't find anybody open. Going to put it up in Ed Payne with the block. Here come the Bobcats. Josh Waters can't finish around the rim. Uncharacteristic miss there for Josh. Calvin Day, another opportunity and another miss. Calvin Day struggling tonight as he has the whole season. Murray for three. That's good. Three-point lead for the Bobcats. The Stallions have got to take Calvin Day out of this game. They call a timeout. I think that's what they're going to do. Calvin Day has definitely been the biggest struggle for the Stallions all season. Rockdale gets it over to Juwan Quinn. Juwan Quinn back to Vince Hart. The Stallions have no opportunity to waste the possession here. They need a score. Vince for three. No good. Here comes Murray. Bobcats looking to extend the lead. Murray for three. No good. That was a really good look there by Murray, but he can't sink the three. Stallions were forgiven for their last possession. They have another opportunity here. Pick and roll. Quinn at the basket. That's good. Brings the lead back down to one as he gets his 26th point of the night. 22 of which have been in the paint. Strong paint presence by Jawan Quinn tonight. Simon with the pick. Over to Ben Henry, back to Waters. Waters for three. No good as the Stallions pull it down. Here comes Vince Hart in transition. Tries to go up and under, gets blocked. Goes out of bounds on the Bobcats, so the Stallions will retain the ball. Four minutes to go, one-point ball game. Jawan Quinn wide open. They don't find him. Instead, they get it to Vince Hart. Missed opportunity there for the Stallions. Vince for three. That's good. Vince Hart, a very important part of the Stallions team. Good Draft day acquisition by the Stallions. Great draft pick by the general manager. I know the Stingrays were absolutely devastated to lose him. Here come the Bobcats. Two-point ball game. Just under four minutes to go in the game. Josh Waters still out there, but Kyrie Allen's not in the game right now. Murray, mid-range. That's no good. Bobcats will retain the ball as Cam Miles hits it out of bounds. Ben Henry has it. He's going to drive. Mid-range. Jumper, that's good. Good quick basket there by the Bobcats. 3.30 to go. Jawan Quinn has the ball. Gets it over to Vince Hart. Jawan Quinn has not left the game in a long time. The Stallions know they need him. They bring the double. Derek Simon hits it out of bounds. Stallion players need to recognize the double team sooner and get somebody open. And there it is. Vince Hart wide open three. No good, tough miss there for Vince Hart. That's all you could ask for if you're the Stallions GM. As Derek Simon connects on another three. He's now two for four tonight.
Rockwell drops it down. Win. Can't get it to go. Here come the Stallions. Murray Williamson back over to Waters. Waters deep two. That's good. Five point lead now for the Bobcats. This could be a defining possession for this game. If the Stallions can't score here, it might be over. Here comes the double team. They find Vince Hart. Quinn draws the double again. Quinn needs to be more patient. They need to find the correct pass. Rockwell back to Fox. Fox gets it to go. That's a two. Three point ball game for the Bobcats. As the Bobcats understand the importance of this possession here, they're going to call a timeout, draw up a play. They need to score. Bobcats have the game in their control. They can go tit for tap with the Stallions and win this game. Any kind of basket would be good here. Free throws, mid-range, anything as Derek Simon left wide open gets the layup to go. That's exactly what the Stallions didn't want to have happen on that play. Here comes Vince Hart. Attacks the rim, able to finish, and one opportunity. Bad foul by Ed Payne. Three-point ball game with the opportunity to cut it to two. Ed Payne knows he messed up there. Vince Hart finishes. Two-point lead now for the Bobcats. Let's see how the Bobcats respond. Kyrie Allen. Good pass to Murray Williamson. Extends the lead back to four. Juwan Quinn drives. Slams it home. Good quick basket. Here comes Kyrie Allen. Kyrie, though, left open. The Stallions' defense is really struggling here in the fourth, allowing easy score after easy score. Fox, three. No good. Rockwell keeps the possession alive. He gets the ball. Kicks it back. Fox, another opportunity at three. That is no good, and that is probably the nail in the coffin as the Bobcats have a four point lead with under a minute to go. Stallions only hope to keep in this game is the steal here. Henry three, no good. Fortunate miss there. Stallions have to score quickly though. Jawan Quinn mid range, no good and that is game. Rockwell fouls but I don't really see a point in the foul there. Stallions hoping for a couple of misses at the free throw line. I think it is too little, too late. Kyrie Allen, not the person you want to foul and send to the free throw line. These are just free buckets. Stallions with another timeout. For some reason, they think that they're still in this game. Six points is not impossible, but with how bad they're playing, I don't see it happening. All Stallion players right now are gassed. I think that's paying a big factor as to why Khalil Fox missed those open threes. Vince Hart slowly looking for a shot. Alley-oop, Rockwell, quick score. Still a four-point game. Stallions force a Ben Henry foul. This is a better shooter to send to the line. Ben Henry gets the first. And Ben sinks them both. If you're the Stallions, though, why are you shooting twos? If you're going to try to play this game where you foul them and then call timeouts, the only way to catch up is you shoot threes. Seems like a lot of wasting.
face the possession here. Gotta play smarter basketball for the Stallions. Wynn has it. Kicks it out. Vince Hart. Another two. Still a four point lead. Bobcats. Cam Miles gets the steal. Fox for three. Can't finish it. Quinn gets the board. Kicks it back out. Rockwell to Vince Hart for three again. Stallions got exactly what they wanted. But Fox with his third wide open three miss cost them the game. Great thrilling finish. Stallions lose this one though by a score of 79 to 83. Thank you guys for checking out this game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Let me know you're here so that I can give you your points.